All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you have to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Ooh, what a punch. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. These guys throwing early. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Severn strike attempt there is blocked. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He got him. Oh, big left hook there. Another clinch position. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just missed with the left there. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just over two minutes to go. jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He's got the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Boy, time to Right hand punches the clinch. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. Oh! Oh! Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Round two winding down. All right, round two. Beautiful strike. And a nice left hand there on the inside. job at least staying upright on that. Sever gets the takedown. Could be weak go. here. There you go. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. Stays in the fight. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. 
Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Just out of range with the big right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Oh, how about those five minutes? All right, we now take a look. Third round underway. South position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Both fighters back to their feet now. Severn gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. And there comes the separation now. He's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they... Severn's got his head looking for a guillotine choke. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. And he's back up. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his oh. opponent left and right. He's out! He got him! <laughs> yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 39 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bulldog. Well, there will be no...